Hey YouTube, Jason here with Day Train Fearless. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments or anything like that, uh, leave them down below in the uh, link. So as always, let's jump right into it. And today we're talking about another thinkorswim uh, indicator uh, that I'm going to give you guys. I will leave a link down below um, to this chart with the indicator um, which is kind of one of my favorite indicators for years. Um, this is kind of what really got me going uh, with the ES futures, but you could use this on any stock, anything like that. Um, but it's a double moving average. I call it the DMA double moving average uh, indicator. It's essentially, let's go into our studies, right? And essentially, the way I have this is it's a 8 and a 21 moving average combined, right? Where I actually have um, the 8 is an exponential and the 21 is a variable. If you want, you could change them to both exponentials, right? Like I'll do it right here. Click OK and you'll see it actually get readjusted a tiny bit. If I go to maybe a simple with both of them simple, okay, it, it, you could see it was down here, now it's up here. So every, <clears throat> it, it's very customizable. You could kind of pick which ones you want. Um, if you want the whole, right, you can have one is one, the other is another. The me personally, I really like the 821 um, exponential and then variable for the 21. When I use a 512 tick chart, it just works really, really well um, from my experience come down bounce it's a very clean um thing and essentially what what they're doing is when they're crossing and once that crosses happen it'll turn from blue to red okay but let's say you want to use this for a bigger time frame like a 15 minute time frame i would maybe go something like this uh let's do a 20 and a 100 time frame, right? And let's move them both to exponential. Click OK, apply. And now you could see kind of bigger trends, right? You could see, okay, hey, once it crosses um, and it turns red, let me get short and kind of ride the wave, right? And then if it goes blue, let me ride that wave and vice versa. Um, it's not a magic indicator. It's just a indicator. Um, I would say play around with it. A couple other really cool features that this indicator has is if you want to see the vertical lines, it'll show you and then um, how many will say like the last 10. I don't want to do too many things like that. You can also say show arrows. How many will say for the last five? Click OK, apply, and now you actually have arrows in how, um, kind of like every time it crosses, it'll send a arrow or a vertical line. If you only want to see arrows, you could do that. Or if you only want to see the vertical lines, you could do that too. So it'll look something very similar uh, to this. If you want to see more, let's say show me the last 30 um, arrows, or sorry, uh, vertical lines, but arrows, we'll just leave that at one. Okay, apply. So you could see every time it crosses, from red to blue, you could do that. If you want to do something like, hey, just show me the uh, 20 and the 200, right? When they cross over and maybe only the simple because I want to go to a larger time frame, maybe something like that. Look at this. You could have gone once to turn blue here and look at the ride. Turn red, kind of uh, not so much, but again, it's not a be all, but you need to play around with what time frame works best, right? These work really good um, on longer 
uh, shorter time frames, anything, but you have to really play around with uh, what settings work best for you. So again, I will leave a link down below in the uh, description uh, for this uh, study. And if you have any questions, anything like that, I hope you guys find this very useful. Um, and look at this. I did 2200. Look at the runs you get, right? Um, on kind of when we turn blue, nice, uh, what, 30, 40, maybe a 30 point S&P futures run, um, on a really small time frame. So again, hope this helps. Uh, link will be down below. And, and as always, thank you for watching. And until next time, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.